Hi and welcome to this DCP Way tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Adobe Photoshop Content Aware Fill tool. So let's go ahead and open up this folder on my desktop. I've downloaded this one picture from Pixabay. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and drag and drop that into Photoshop. So let's say we want to get rid of this boat here. This boat. We're going to go and left click here and select the lasso tool. And then we're just going to carefully draw around the boat. Try and get as close to it as possible, but don't go over the boat. Try and go around this shadow, for example, around here. And we'll just draw around this quite carefully like this. And then close the lasso here. And we can see that it's got a selection now. We'll go to edit and we'll go to content aware fill. And then over here in the options, most of these I pretty much leave the same. The one thing I do is select scale. That makes sure that everything scales correctly when we patch over this piece of content. And we always select output to new layer. That's what I prefer to do. And then click OK. And there you go. Your boat is gone. And if you hide this bottom layer, you can see that it's just drawn over it. So it's used um, the background content. It's used content from um, around the boat to fill in over the top and it's applied that as a new layer here. I like to play it as a, apply it as a new layer so you can just hide it and show it and see what was going on before and after. Let's go to select and deselect and then let's click on this bottom layer. It's called background at the moment. We want to unlock it so we can edit this layer now, the, the main image before. And let's zoom in on these people. Let's just zoom in on them. We've got the lasso tool already selected. Let's just draw around them and let's say we didn't want them to be in our picture. Uh, let's just go around them like this and then we'll close the loop and we'll go to edit content aware fill scale it and then click OK and those people will get removed and now we can just go to select and deselect and zoom back out and they're gone and we can just apply that to loads of different content so sometimes when you're on holiday and you take a photograph and there happens to be one random person standing in your photograph and you think i wish that person wasn't there well now you know how to remove them using adobe photoshop you can easily remove people from content or it doesn't have to be a person it, like for example remove the whole boat right or it could be this whole palm tree or this top of this or this person sitting right here um these people down here you can just remove them and you can apply that to any sort of um image now my advice is that when you're using this particular tool the background needs to be quite clean and quite simple if it's very busy like a brick wall or something quite complex the background then it's not going to work so well so the background needs to be quite clear and simple so that adobe photoshop can sample around your content that you're selecting and then work out how to fill that content in you can see it's done a very good job with the boat if we hide that you can see and remove the boat and we can hide and remove these people quite quickly let's go to file and let's just export this as a new file so we'll go to file export we'll save as a jpeg file and we just call this one dash update and let's save this we can now close down photoshop we don't need to save the original file but now we've got the content over here this is the one we edited and this is the one of the original content and now you can see the difference between them and you probably wouldn't know that boat was even there or those people were there in this particular picture if i were to send it to you so that's how you go about using the adobe content aware fill tool inside uh, adobe photoshop so I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.